good old man. Hi, Liam Goodwin's here with another episode of Into the Wild. On this episode, we're going to be learning about the history of surfing and world famous surfing star Bethany Hamilton. So grab your boards and let's go. Surfing was invented by ancient Polynesians. Fishmen surfed the waves with their boats to get back to shore quickly. George Freeth is considered to be the father of modern day surfing. Born in 1883 and died young of the flu in 1919. He used a paddleboard during his time as a lifeguard. In 1907, George Freeth was brought to California for an exhibition to demonstrate surfing and lifeguard skills. At the same time, surfing was gaining popularity in Waikiki as a sport. Throughout the 20th century, surfing gained in status but, but the release of the film Gidget and groups like the Beach Boys took surfing from an underground culture to worldwide popularity. One of the more recently famous surfers is national champion Bethany Hamilton. Bethany was born on February 8, 1990. She is 23 years old. When Bethany was 8, she took first place in her first surfing competition. Shortly after placing first in the NSSA Open Women's Division, Bethany, who was now only 13, was attacked by a tiger shark who ate her left arm just below her shoulder. Later in an interview, Bethany said she didn't feel any pain at the time of the bite. Shortly after the attack, some nearby fishermen caught and killed a tiger shark that was later confirmed to be the culprit. Less than one month later, Bethany was back on her board, working for over one year to overcome her disability. She relearned how to surf using only one arm. In January 2004, only 15 months after the attack, she re-entered the world of competitive surfing. Her broken and half-eaten surfboard is on display at the California Surf Museum. If you want to learn more about Bethany, read her book, Soul Surfer. A true story of faith, family, and fighting to get back on the board. Or watch the movie, Soul Surfer, based on the book. Man, that Bethany sure is inspiring, isn't she? Well, that's it for this episode of Into the Wild. Don't try this in your pool, fool. Into the Wild would like to thank Wikipedia.com, BethanyHamilton.com, and Liam's cousin Emily for the use of her surfboard. Thank you.